So what do you guys say about this uh, matte white color? Ladies and gentlemen, Genesis G90, the flagship model of the Genesis brand. The headlight that we just saw put in real life. The next one Genesis has in the store for us is undisturbed, fully connected double lines that marks the identity of Genesis brand. Again, which was shown on Genesis X concept. They have actually implemented two layers of grill, as we can see. Well, this is definitely the plastic, but up above is the chrome. Genesis has pronounced that the copper will be the brand identity and the color, and that's also seen on these um, lovely G Matrix pattern grills. And right here, they have the tip of that triangle that resembles the tip of the shield on the Genesis logo. It's also found at the tip right here and this is the radar but one of them is actually a dummy probably for the design purpose they were not able to put this one right here in the middle instead that's where the camera is sitting so i am seeing the module right here and also even for the dummy because one of them is dummy right unless genesis tells me what it is i'm not sure which one the dummy is but one of them is the radar. Genesis is definitely thinking of the full level three autonomous driving, which Genesis calls it HDP, Highway Driving Pilot. And when that comes up, I've seen some spy photos as well. They have the sensors here sitting in the grill. Hopefully they would come up with a beautiful and elegant way. And here they use the chrome line right here to hug and complete the bottom line. And chrome is a must when it comes to the elegant, the luxurious vehicles. That little duct right here, it's fake one, it's covered up, but we've seen that one on other Genesis family and cars. So that together also completes the family look. Because of that clamshell technology, G90 is now able to hug the entire cladding as well as the fender line right here. Genesis now has the technology to put this emblem literally right into the bonnet so that it sits flush with the hood so there is no emblem sticking out utilizing what's called um Gilyosh pattern it's also found on Genesis X concept but it's not yet implemented on this first version of Genesis G90. This is the profile. Literally, I am standing 90 degrees from the car and that's how much double line stands out. And that is to meet the regulations of the North American market. A bit of a reflector and in between is the double line. Look at that. Just gorgeous. When you bombard and come across these Genesis cars, you know for sure that there is Genesis up ahead in front of you. These actually work together as the brake lights, both up and bottom. So when the brake pedal is pressed, these will light up. And this portion works as the turn signal right here, the double lines. So let me show you. Ah, oh, just gotta love that. The emergency light, the hazard light is on. So that's what the whole blinker looks like when they turn on all together. And no, they're not matrix pattern. So the whole solid double lines blink up, light up all together. For the first time ever on Genesis G90, they have 20 inch wheels on this. Genesis has managed to pull out better MPG and I absolutely love the design that they have come up with. They've gone so aggressive with the wheel. The gap between the spokes and well, they have the original good old five spoke and Genesis is definitely coming up with uniquely Genesis design, especially, especially on the wheels. Well, this looks like a one cast giant caliper that we've been seeing throughout one piece rotor however we can see the vents and holes i love how these um lights up bright in white color and that double line identity is carried over evidently was found on g80 first well excuse me gv80 first later on the g80 is completed on the g90 as well so this portion 99.9 percent .9 sure that this will turn into the orange reflector for the north american market because that's what the regulations require the profile, the side markers, and however, when you come up front right here, there's not solid lights just yet, but just squares lighting up all together. And let me show you the turn signal, but there is nothing different, I bet. Other than, you see, every time I come inside the cabin, 
it's so quiet. You know, it, it, the window is even open. But I can, <laughs> I can sense that there is a great amount of noise cancellation at work. And this door is heavy. Well, not super heavy, but I can definitely feel that there is, um, you know, motor running in the door. This definitely is not the same feeling that we are used to. But it's just, I'm gonna be using that technology a lot. As you've been seeing, you can close the door using that button right there. However, you can also close it from inside, like so. And just make sure you get out of the way before the door shuts. But even, even if the door shuts down, you see, there is also all the safety precautions and measures put together, thought through, seen through by Genesis. And let me show you. You get cut in the middle and then, you see? Just look at that. The door would just stop with a alert saying that, you know, hey, there's something. So even if I just stay as is, it's trying to close, but you know, it doesn't hurt me, nothing like that. So it's such a, such a gentle bump that's not gonna hurt you at all. You're inside like so, you're far from away from the button right there. So I'm gonna press that button. Oh, fancy that, oh my God. So you can shut the door off like that. Unfortunately, it would not open up automatically, but obviously this car is capable of doing so if Genesis wanted to do it. However, for the safety precautions and measures, they have not done it. So use this button right here. G90 would give you a kick like that so you can open the rest of the door like so. Come take a look at this steering wheel, a good two-spoke wheel design. We've seen this first on Genesis GV80 and I know that not many people were big fan of it. But what do you guys say about now? But even with the airbag, they put this hexagonal design and a little bit of a tip towards the bottom, you know, reminiscent of the Genesis Shield right here. HDA, the buttons are here and these are physical buttons. It's not touch sensitive. These are the dummy fake there's nothing here and the good old control volume the same thing that we've seen on other Genesis brands and cars on the right is the phone you can toggle through different menus here and favorite and voice recognition like so you can push it up and down and this is the touch sensitive button where you slide it you see that Genesis connected service Okay, I need to sign up to use that feature. So you can slide through these buttons to change and skip through the, you know, the channels as well as the tracks. Gauge cluster, I really want to point out about these buttons here. I love that design that Genesis Hey paid attention to that's connected all throughout from all the way to the from the passenger to here. And this is to control the lighting's on the gauge cluster and that's also same for this um, trunk button and you know hold and you can fully control the trunk from the inside these buttons that were sitting right here has moved up to this place right here this is nothing official however HDA level 3 the fully autonomous level driving feature related buttons were meant to be the rumor has it hopefully we get to see that upgrade in later versions the gauge cluster the UI and the layout is identical from the good old other Genesis latest Genesis that we have seen the drive mode and see how they differ you can have comfort again same thing sport same thing echo and press down to go into smart mode and smart mode is where the car gets smart and it will change some modes um, accordingly so if you merge into the lanes it will change into the sport if you are just cruising down through the city it will change into comfort if not echo it doesn't get any more brown than this but it has that woody scent to it just gotta love that taste that genesis has put in collaborating putting together this exterior color along with the teal and brown interior genesis is getting so creative with these colors and just how look at how bold they are towards putting the color on this full-size saloon this is something that we haven't seen on 
not many other manufacturers. Genesis definitely stepping up, saying out loud, and this is what Genesis is aiming towards, the market of the full-size saloon. There is a Genesis engraved right here too. When you hover through, it will show, you know, what these buttons will do. Very intuitive, direct, and self-explanatory. I personally love white interior. I don't know if they have it on G90. The used scrap wood parts and also newspapers. And they have compressed the leftover newspaper and then came up with material like so. So they have recycled and upcycled. This is the same thing, if not nearly identical to the one that we have seen from the Genesis GV60. The good old cup holders. This is what the luxury means. You know, everything that you touch, everything that you operate, it gives you that luxurious feeling compared to the other vehicles. And I just love what Genesis has done with that. Press down for the park and rotate around to go or ND accordingly. And this, the wheel type to go through. There's some infotainment system. And well, if you're not used to it, you might need some time getting used to. However, once you get used to it, you just get used to it right away. The back home and menu button, self-explanatory. And this is really, really useful, you know? You don't have to go through the steering wheel or have the buttons here or dials that you have to roll. No, you just keep your hand steady here. And then all you have to do is just scroll it up scroll it down and also just press it to make it mute and in the middle is the fingerprint recognition system that we have also seen from the genesis gv60 for the record go check out that video as well up in the card ventilated seat heated seat the parking view cam like so comes with the surround view you can change the drive modes parking alarm and the same thing for the passenger and you can close the door from the inside for the passenger as well the wireless charging port that lights up telling you that phone is being charged and here inside right here is the button that you can open up the center on console like so with the 12 volt c type usb ports and chargers and the glove box is dropping down just a good old type where the trunk button used to be well trunk button is now here say you're in a tight spot so you really want to be careful with opening the door you can reach over just pull it up door will just open up marginally so you can have full control of the door opening level and let's see how responsive this could be so it was closed i want to open it up oh so see i'm just gonna go it opens up right away memory seats for that and you can control the passenger here so press that button and control the some seat buttons and that happens you can control the passenger from here so it would be like sir do you want more view i will tilt the seat for you the bang and olufsen sound system the premium sound that genesis is pumping in and that's the twitters and the speakers are here all throughout inside the cabin so you see right here it says acoustic control there are other speakers up above in the ceiling that actually helps and enables the noise cancellation system that's been implemented throughout many Genesis brands. And let's check out what's under the hood. As we have seen from other Genesis, most of the parts are covered up, but even so, more on this Genesis G90. Oh, haha. -ha. Just love how they put that plaque right there saying it's a V6 3.5 liter turbo GDI. So don't be mistaken. And I actually felt this rubber when I was sticking my hand in. There is also rubber finish around the car that comes all the way up to here, right before where the cladding starts. But they also have this rubber finish that wraps up around the engine bay so that's matched up with here 
So it's not even just connecting different points of the cars, but there is another connection here. So the suspension strut is sitting at an angle. So instead of sitting vertically, this is set for better driving quality. And that's also hooked up and connected to the air suspension system. Just the good old washers right here, the brake fluid, and I don't see the battery. 99.9% .9 sure that it's sitting inside the trunk. Let's go check it out. And for your information, this portion is made out of a plate, whereas this is made of plastic because that's where these buttons, the cameras, and also just look at that, the profile, that concave shape is made possible. So that's why there is a parting line right here. And that was actually covered up on Genesis G80 with that stretched out shield emblem. And even the handle here, they have, well, it's plastic, but they have chrome-like finish wrapped around other levers and the hooks. Just look at that. You can lower it up and down like so. This I actually like. It's quite useful, you know, than you think. So open this up where the styrofoam sits with uh, emergency inflators and fluid. Do not use it unless you know what you're doing. I've done it myself and regret it a whole lot ever since. This is where the battery sits and even this plate right here finished in this luxurious metal. However, when it comes to the lateral size, the car has gotten about shorter by 10 centimeters and that's quite a lot. And that's probably all due to the sound absorbance that they have put in as well as the air suspension for the rear suspension. And G90 gets RWS, which is the rear wheel steering. And this rear wheel actually turns around according to the different conditions. And it's actually active up to two degrees toward the same direction as the front wheel at mid to high speed. And also when it comes to the low speeds, this car is capable of turning up to four degrees. And that's actually at the opposite of the front wheel's direction. So this is the seat where it matters the most for G90. All right, I'm inside and let's close the door. The same thing. You have two buttons, even on a side. I mean, well, that goes for the left side as well, but you see, you can close the windows from here. You can control the seats here using the button. And same thing, you can open the door with the push of a button like so. You can manually open the button, the door here wake up the screen swipe the screen and that's what i did the levels of the massage here and durations it's all touch sensitive and all direct you know you can see what the modes are and also it shows you on the animation spine back hips probably that's the massage it all has the varying levels of the massage that you can get you can control the vent from the second row seat now going back the second row seat shines the most just watch what happens when you put press down the rest button it will go into the rest mode and the front seat will tilt forward like so and also your footstool will come down so you can rest and it's sturdy enough, of course, so you can put your leg right up there. And that's not it. Just look at that. That also comes up. And just look at this. So that's how laid back I am. And this is just inside of a saloon, ladies and gentlemen. And just so you know, for your information, if the passenger door is open, this won't happen. Because guess what? It took me the hard way to find that out. I can close the door using this button, just like so. And when you open up the door, this would go down automatically. So you can actually let yourself out like so. And I just can't believe the level of 
paying attention to that Genesis has done. Just look at this. It's detail and detail everywhere. They've thought it through and they've seen it through. And let me actually show you the rest of the buttons and features here. So that's the uh, AC. You can control it right there. That's a seat that I've shown you, the massage. And this is the shades. So you can close and open the shades using just the, the button like so. And you can also control the shades here, these buttons. So when the windows are closed, just simply pull it up again to close the shades and simply press it down and press it down one more time for the windows. To control the sunroof. But I don't think you can control the one in the front though. You can control the warmth of the ambient light and also the brightness. And you can also turn on and off the book light. Just like so. So I want to show you this mood curator and that's actually connected with the essence and scent that's put inside the glove box and you can choose up to two categories vitality delight care and so genesis will give you the according and matching music lighting scent so that's the fragrance and the massage and depending on the modes it will open and close the shades the 12 volts and the c porter type as well you see there is an ambient light here that's no surprise but surprise surprise there is an ambient light on the sunroof on the sides and that's first introduced on this genesis g90 when you open this some um, center arm console of the second row seat you see there is a storage area here you think this is just an ordinary storage no do you see that uv right there so that's actually the button when you press this button on so this actually sterilizes and sanitizes what's inside the glove box up to 10 minutes there is an actually a cut outlet here where you can put a magazine a newspapers and such and such so genesis also utilized this um, dead space for extra storage you go to places you're looking for the document the contract you don't have to open up the door bend over and dive through all these no it will be sitting right here 